What's up guys? Hope you all are doing alright. Got a little project, a little DIY project I want to do today. Today we're going to be doing something. Today we're going to be making something. I'm going to do a DIY project for you guys on how to build a simple, easy, very, very easy rod holder. You know, stick it in your garage, you know, just set it on the floor. And I'm going to show you how to do that today very simply, very easily. The one I made, and I'll show you one like it that I've made in the past, but I need another one. I've got, I've got salt water, I've got ultralights, I've got fresh water, uh, catfish, I mean just all kinds of different rods that you know I want to kind of separate and put in their own spots. I've got a lot of rods just stored in a bucket. That's what we're going to be doing today guys. Let's just jump right into it. Come on and join me. Alright, so what I got here is I've got 15 tees. These right here are uh, one and a half inch tees with one and a half inch PVC. I bought 15 of these, and I'm not going to take them all out, just showing you what I got. Just plain old tee. And I also bought four. Now these right here, I got them from Lowe's. These right here are about two dollars and a half a piece, so they're not that cheap, but easy to work with. Here is a one and a half inch 90. Bought four of these. These, I don't remember the price. These was, I don't know, I, I just had to look at it. You just had to look at them at Lowe's. I'm not exactly sure what the price of those was, but they, ain't, they wasn't expensive as those. I bought five foot, inch and a half pipe. Bought four of these and I had another piece of another one. So these was about four and a half dollars a piece. So in all, this right here was about $63 minus the glue, okay? I already had the glue, didn't have to worry about the glue. So this right here was about $63. So luckily I had a gift card to help pay for it. I'll come out to be the, on the good side. We're gonna cut these pieces here in the length, get right into it. Those are 12 inches long, the one on that other one over there. So that's about what I'm gonna cut these at. I think it makes a good length and I can get several out of it. I'm gonna take my Sharpie. Just go to that down through here and start marking. I'm gonna mark them a foot, just like those others are. It ain't gotta be exact, just close. Close is good enough for me. And that puts out the last one at a foot. So I can get one, two, three, four, five. That's exactly what I figured out in the store that I could just about get out of it. All right, guys, I got all 15 of the ones that stand up, cut, ready to go. Now I gotta cut the ones that goes in between. I got these. But now we gotta figure out what, how long we're gonna put, you know, make, make them apart. So what I got now is, in, you know, pretty good. It's about like that far apart. So we'll cut, we'll cut them about probably four inches. We'll take these other pieces and mark, it, mark a bunch of four inch pieces because it's gonna take a bunch of those. Get this thing knocked out. I'm gonna count these and see how many we got. All right guys, I wanna show you something real quick. Using that miter saw, it leaves a little, a little flange right there. So I'm gonna go over here to the grinder and grind all that, all those off that right there a little bit just to make it, make it smooth. All right guys, now we're gonna start assembling this stuff. I'm not gonna glue it yet. 
but I am going to start assembling a little bit here to get it the way I want it and then I'll That's all it is right there, guys. I mean, you, you really honestly don't even have to glue it, but I mean, if you, you know, if you want to be more sturdy, you probably do. For all you guys that may wonder, why in the heck is he using one and a half inch? Well, the one and a half inch is, is easier to get big end rods down in this thing like uh just for example this this uh this rod right here is a two-piece rod ocean rod you know you get that butt down in the one half inch or a one inch piece or whatever it ain't gonna do it and if i want to take this out of my kayak it ain't gonna go down in there i'm gonna have to have a piece that's one and a half inch to get that down in there so it ain't gonna do no good over here on my rack so that's why i use that's why i use one half inch to those big butted rods down in there. Putting this, gonna put it here together real quick just to go so you guys can see what's gonna look like with the finished product. Show how simple this is. This is just super simple. You know, you don't have to use a miter saw to do this. I, I cut them before with a hacksaw. I got one left over. It's all right. If I ever want to, I'll make another one. So here it is, guys. That's all it, that's all it took. Didn't take long. All right, guys, here it is. This is a 14 rod rod holder. So uh, I had one left over, but that's all right. I'll get this all glued up, stick it over here, and uh, organize this a little bit. And that way I can separate my salt water, fresh water, um, catfish, whatever I want. It'd be just a little bit easier. Now, if you really want to get something that's really nice, I'd get the Cast King, the Cast King rod holder. And, I'll, and the, the link for that will be in the description below. Check that out on Amazon. It is a great product. I would highly recommend it. Very, very simple to put together. You know, I've been wanting one of these, another one, uh, to, you know, to store more rods, because the other, <laughs> my cast king one, I, I, I got it somewhere else, uh, another place right now, so I don't have it here with me. So I, I, I you know, I wanted to make another one, one another one of these uh, to put more rods in. Works perfect. So guys, if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Give me two thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that big time. <laughs> hope you like this tutorial. Um, hope it made sense to you. If you got any questions, let me know. I'll put all the links to all the materials used and where I bought it from down below. So guys, thank you again for watching. Go catch some fish. Share your message with everybody. It's your message. Share it. All right, guys. Peace out. Take care.